Located in Cow Hollow across from the swaying eucalyptus trees of the Presidio and a few blocks from the Palace of Fine Arts, Chris's romantic hideaway delivers a place to cozy up to your date for a French getaway in San Francisco. It's Baker Street Bistro. I'm born in Biarritz, uh, southwest of France, and I start cooking with my grandmother and my mom. Went to culinary school and I opened my first restaurant, I was 19. My name is Daniel de Betelu. I'm the chef owner of Baker Street Bistro. After a few years of running the restaurant, I fall in love, which makes me sell everything in France and move to America. I cook like I learned with my grandmother, with her passion, fresh product, local, we try to bring the French bistro cuisine from Paris. We're not fancy at all. It's very casual. You just come to enjoy a nice meal or just a glass of wine outside. We carry only French wine at Baker Street Bistro. My waiter Chantal, she's been here for as long as Baker Street Bistro has been here. Everybody loves her. If she's not here one day, every single person we past the door, we'll ask for Chantal. My staff in the kitchen has been here since the beginning with me, and I can sleep in peace. I know Bichente is here. Good help with Victor and uh, Miguel. Baker Street Bistro, it's like taking a trip in Paris. French food, French wine, French music, authenticity, that's Baker Street Bistro. All right, Chris, you're kind a romantic guy, aren't you? I like to think so. Yes, and your <laughs> wife says the same thing, I'm sure. So she tells me. <laughs> um, and this is your romantic getaway spot? Absolutely. The first time we ever heard about this place was a, a friend and his wife trying to find a place at the last minute on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And they walked right into this neighborhood place in the middle block that they never even noticed before, and they got right in. Since then, my wife and I and several other friends have all gone on very romantic, very intimate dates there. And if you're lucky enough to get one of the small seats with the cushions and the pillows right next to a you know, fogged off uh, window, you can sit there all night and just stare into each other's eyes or have very intimate conversations as well. We're all like, oh, that's oh, so nice, you want Chris. Career? You're so sweet. <laughs> well, I think what separates a bistro from a restaurant is that it really does invite you to feel comfortable and feel at home. Mm -hmm. So when we go, we really like to get things that feel warm and kind of fill you up for a winter's night as it was when we went there recently. My wife got one of the best dishes I've ever had in San Francisco, which is the beef bourguignon and the beef burgundy, which was just succulent pieces of meat, big pieces of potato and veg, and in a sauce that tasted almost like you had just poured a bottle of wine right into the pot. It was absolutely savory the and delicious. Beef bourguignon, you need lots. And Victoria, what was your experience there? Oh, I loved it. Oh. It was so beautiful and charming, intimate, romantic. I felt like I was in Paris. Yeah. The warm food, mm -hmm. the ambiance, it was more than I imagined. I can't wait to go back. What was your favorite dish? I had the Castellet Toulouse, mm -hmm. a duck confit, the sausage, the beans, the bacon. We started with three baguettes of bread <laughs> because the bread was so good. The French onion soup mm -hmm. to die for, layers of flavor that you just felt all through your body as you sipped it. Oh, I didn't want that to end. <laughs> uh, we had a nice salad, pure and simple, but beautiful. The sea scallops. That was delicious on a bed of broccoli and potatoes with a red pepper coulis around it and zucchini coins. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Rebecca, good. you Yeah, did those you? are, we didn't order those. Now I'm like, oh, I must go back. <laughs> <laughs> it's become my go-to French restaurant now. If I, anybody asks me for a recommendation, I would go there. I feel like it was better than the food I had in Paris. Oh. It was amazing. The owner waited on us. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he does that all the time, but we had ordered oysters, they were out of oysters, so he brought us escargot, which is a risky kind of endeavor. I'm not necessarily an escargot fan. Mm -hmm. This changed my mind completely. Wow. It had a little anise liqueur in it. It was served in a little uh, ceramic ramekin mm -hmm. sort of thing, and I just kept sopping up the buttery parsley. Listen, you can eat snails, you can eat anything once it's in butter and, and, and garlic. The, and the escargot <laughs> themselves were completely tender, mm -hmm. delicious. It was one of those surprise, amazing standouts. The steak tartare, have mm. you, I don't know if I've you've had it. I've never tried it. I love, actually love steak tartare. Mm. Best one I've ever had, oh. hands down. The flavors were perfectly balanced. It was just beautiful, just a circle with all these lovely little rings of parsley and eggs coming out. But it was this perfectly seasoned ground beef with um, an amazing, huge, generous side of pommes frites. 
it was just delicious. And Everyone their wine at the list is all French, so you can have everything from a little bit of Cremant de Bourgogne to go with you. Did <laughs> <laughs> the pink Cremant yes. de Bourgogne, the rosé, a exactly. woman after my own heart, there, Victoria. Right. <laughs> and you can end with you know beautiful Banyul, sweet wine. Yes, from, we did. Yeah. We did that. <laughs> right. When I always go back are for the mussels, and on their website and on their menu, they say it's the best mussels in town. We need to try though. <laughs> yeah, and I, I I haven't tried every mussel in San Francisco, but they're the best ones I've had. And not only are they good, but they give you dozens upon dozens, a bowl that you have to pass around. And when you have the frit with enough juice to kind of dip the frit into, that's pretty much all you need for a perfect night. And they have a prefix menu, don't they? They do, and I think it's a hidden gem not only in the restaurant, but the entire city. It comes with a house soup, entree, which they decide for you, and then also a side salad, some veg, and also a dessert. The yeah. prefix when we went there was actually a pureed lentil soup, which was delicious and very warming, very salty, just very delicious for the evening. And then a pork chop, which was grilled on the grill and so had perfect sear to it, succulent when you tied into it, and then served on kind of a bed of smashed potatoes or mashed potatoes that were just very decadent and delicious with the side salad with the perfect bistro vinaigrette perfect end to a night. Let's talk dessert. <laughs> Let's talk dessert. <laughs> so we had the creme brulee, which was also perfectly executed. Delicious, a deliciously crusty crust and a very smooth and rich interior. I That creme brulee was definitely a standout too. I had the strawberries, which were served warm in a balsamic glaze with cracked black pepper. Uh, melting the ice cream, the vanilla bean ice cream below. It was so delicious, I could have swam in it. We also had the pear tart, another mm -hmm. standout, mm -hmm. and the mousse uh, dos de chocolat, de chocolat. <laughs> de chocolat. Also amazing. <laughs> All right, now let's talk it a little bit delicious. about service. Impeccable. I thought she was great, and the whole staff, you could see them cooking, you could smell everything. It was great service. All right, this is your spot, Chris. Wrap it up for us. If you want to escape the San Francisco restaurant scene but don't want to leave the city, then Baker Street Bistro is the perfect getaway. All right, and Victoria? I loved every minute. I can't wait to go back. And Rebecca? A hidden gem and now my go-to French restaurant in San Francisco. <laughs> All right, if you would like to try Baker Street Bistro, it's on Baker Street at Lombard in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-931-1475. It's open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Sunday with brunch on the weekends. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $45.